This is what Venice usually looks like throughout its high season. During the Venice Carnival in 2019, tourists overwhelmed the city. Streets were packed, restaurants, hotels fully booked. Many locals were complaining of over-tourism. This year, the coronavirus hit during the same season. Streets are deserted. Tourists nowhere to be found. The main source of income for Venetians has dried up. However, while the impact of the virus devastated the city's economy, it has nourished the environment. The canal is clear and calm. Fish are seen in abundance. Air pollution has decreased. So, yes, in a certain way, it's very romantic, it's beautiful. On the other side, it's a disaster. It's an economic disaster. Now, Venetians are questioning how they can create a balance between respecting the environment and reviving the economy once the crisis is over. I think there is a, there is a point where you could basically optimize the, the fact that um, more animals, more fish, more birds will be in Venice and they will uh, have a good life, let's say, as, as well as the Venetians. And we would also like to have a good life in Venice and not being oppressed by tourists. Sebastian Fagarazzi is the co-founder of Venezia Autentica, an organization that strives to create methods for tourists to visit their city in a way that contributes to life in Venice instead of harming it. Responsible tourism and responsible way of doing tourism would definitely like help also the environment. Sebastian stresses that environmental pollution is created by a certain way of doing tourism which can be changed. If you come, say, with a ship that pollutes a lot and you stay only for a couple of hours because anyway you have enough food, you at the end of your vacation or the start and you're just spending a few hours, you contribute to the pollution and you don't help the local economy. Instead, the organization urges tourists to stay overnight at local hotels, dine at the town's restaurants, take the time to discover the city and on foot. Local authorities have also been discussing strategies to minimize mass tourism and pollution, such as limiting the size and number of cruise ships to be allowed in the canal. Imposing a tourist tax was also being planned for the same purpose. Once the crisis is over, it will take time for the city to recover financially, but ways to preserve the current peaceful environment will likely also be on the agenda for many Venetians. Michal Bartavit, CGTN.